Hi everybody. Morning family, friends, relatives, beloved. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the joy God. of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah, Hallelujah That's right. Lord. In Jesus' name. And he loves you too much to leave you That's right. the way Amen. you are. Amen. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be whole. He wants you to be healed. That's he right. wants you to be prospering in all things in Jesus' name. And he wants you to have a deep relationship with That's him right. as well. Absolutely. Not a superficial relationship where you're just scratching the surface. Yeah. He wants you to come in close. That's right. He wants you to meet him. And he wants to have this good relationship with you the word says if you draw close to God he will draw close to That's you right. Amen. Amen. I just want to read to you from Mark chapter 9 a verse let me just see from verse 17 and it says, Then one of the crowd answered and said to Jesus, Teacher, I brought you my son, who has a mute spirit. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, he gnashes his teeth, and he becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. And Jesus answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him, and when he saw him, when 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 he they, when he saw Jesus, immediately the spirit. So as, as soon as the spirit saw Jesus, immediately that spirit convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground. And, and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And the father said, From childhood. And often he has thrown him, thrown him both into the fire. Often the spirit has thrown his son into the fire and into the water to destroy him. And that's just like a devil. He wants to use sickness, he wants to use whatever he can to destroy us. He's come to destroy us. Jesus said that in John 10, that's verse 10. Right, and right. Jesus said, but I have come that you might have life. Thank you, There's Jesus. There's a difference. Hallelujah. That's why you need Jesus. Right. Absolutely. The devil wants to destroy, but Jesus wants to give life. That's right. Amen. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Now I want you to catch this next bit. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him That's right. who believes. Amen. Now catch Amen. this. Verse 24, immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my yes. unbelief. Amen. He was Amen. crying. He was crying. And he said, Lord, I do believe, but help my unbelief. unbelief. And that's what I want to speak to you about this morning. You know, we all talk and say we believe. And most of us do believe up here. Yeah. But we've got to get that belief down in here. We're in second nature. Down here in your heart, you've got a believer. And the batteries are low. Oh. Or the batteries are gone flat. That believer needs to be ticking strong. That believer needs to be full of what you had up here. You need to get it from here down to here. And there's nothing to be ashamed. That's why the father was crying. He felt ashamed. Yes. He felt frustrated. Because he said, I believe. I've seen what you've been doing. I believe, but help me in my unbelief. Now, there's a man who'd seen what Jesus could do. And he still said, help me in my unbelief. unbelief. And I think often there's a part of us that we say we believe, but we need help with our unbelief. Oh. And sometimes when the coin gets tough and the, oh. the, the pressure oh. comes on us, we, we struggle in our belief oh, absolutely. even more. Absolutely. And God wants to help you Thank in your unbelief. Jesus. He I wants to Lord. fill your, 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 that area of you that That's has right. unbelief with belief. But you have to take steps as well. You need to be reading your Bible regularly. 
And you need to be, when you're reading the Bible, you need to be reading what God is saying to you. So you need to be reading your Bible. You need to be praying to God. You need to be in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You need to be building a strong, healthy relationship with the Lord. You need to be going to church. So you're listening to faith people, preaching the word into your life. You're around other believers, talking into your life. And Hebrews chapter 10 tells you why you need to go to church. To be encouraging to one another and other things as well. So that's all part and parcel of you building your belief. Then you start to see those things happening. God wants to help you in your unbelief. He really does. He wants to help you all the time. Right. He's always there. He's encouraging you and telling you, come on, let me help you more. Let me help you more. But sometimes we just get tired. We get lots of days ago. Or we get yeah, weary. Uh, or we just let go of it and we just leave give it and give up. Yeah. But don't. 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 I am working up. on areas in my life where oh. God help me in my unbelief. That's right, we're drowning. But we don't give up. We keep on going. We keep on going. We keep on we going out to the Lord. Lee we said we're on. drowning, but our heads are above the That's water. Right. We're Absolutely. breathing in the yes. Holy we're Spirit. We're, we're crying out to God. Yes. We're crying out to God. And God is helping us in Amen. our unbelief. Amen. Amen. So the Father he cried out and he said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to him, You deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him, right. and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed the son greatly, and he came out of him, and he became as one dead, so that many said he's dead. But Jesus took the son by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And that's the character of God. Because you might have areas in your life where you're weak in belief, God still wants to help you. Oh, he God does. still wants to perform oh, miracles does. in your life. Yes, that's why you have to believe, first of all, in the biblical definition of faith it is that we believe he exists that's, right. that's the first and most important foundation of your faith to believe that he exists in and Jesus calling name. those things that be not as though they that's are it. you've that's got to it. call those that's things it. in that's it. that you believe you've yes. got to call them in even if you don't see them now call them in yes. in the name Amen. of Jesus it has to obey Amen. whatever you need from the Lord yes. call it in it yes. has to the spiritual realm has to obey yes. in the name of Jesus what you are calling Amen. according to God's word Amen. 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 so be encouraged today in Jesus name cry out to God and ask him to help you in your, those areas that you That's need right. to grow in That's your right. faith and, right. and your belief but you know faith is acting on what you believe so you need to be concentrating on your believing, reading the scriptures, talking to God, and just working on that belief and getting that belief stronger and stronger. I believe that by the stripes that fell on the back of Jesus, we have been healed. I believe it. That's right. And that's why we eat of this bread. Yes. So let's eat together. I believe by the blood that Jesus shed, we are saved in Jesus' name. We have eternal life in Jesus' name. So let's drink of what represents his blood. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, family, friends, relatives, mm. God is able. He is. Call out to him. He is. He hears the cry of his Praise beloved. God. Praise God. Call out to him today. Amen. And you'll have victory in your amen. life. You, uh, God will give you healing. Yes. He'll restore you to your rightful state. Hallelujah. God will answer your prayers. You, God Lord. will deliver you. Thank you God Lord. will give you a hope for the future. Yes, amen. Don't give up. Just go forward That's and it. move on amen. with your life. Amen. Don't give up. Just keep on yes. believing Praise God. the Lord is able. Praise God. Praise All God. things are possible to those that believe. So yes. all in what you need amen. today. And it will come amen. in the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 So if you're sick today, be healed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Angelique, 
Healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We curse that cancer. No now sign of it. In Jesus Good name. reports. Right now in Jesus', in Jesus, name. Jesus name. Thank if you you're in luck, walk in the peace. abundance that God gives you. Believe. Believe that Jesus came, that you could have life, and life more abundantly. Until the next time, God bless you. The Lord bless and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, give you peace. Lord, thank Amen. you that you're going to answer their prayers today, Amen. Father. Thank you, Lord. This very hour, Father God, you're going to restore name. them to their rightful Jesus state, name. Father, in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. 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 Be, healed. be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God.